Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to install the Android 6.0 Marshmallow custom ROM on your Galaxy S5. So currently, uh, the only option uh, to have the Marshmallow on your S5 is through the custom ROM because the official update is not yet released and we don't really know when it will going to come. So uh, I'm running this weird toxin ROM. I'm just going to show you here in the settings. I already did a separate review that you can watch on my channel. So sorry for the delay in the tutorial video. But anyways, now first of all, make sure you download the ROM from the link down below in the description box and also download the G apps along with it because of course you need to flash them in order to make use of Google applications like Play Store and everything. So yeah. Uh, after downloading those two things and before that make sure you have root access on your device and also make sure your device have a custom recovery installed so yeah those two things without those two things you might will you you will not be able to flash this custom ROM or any custom ROM out there so yeah if you have those two things then we are good to go now uh, you have to boot into the recovery mode now I'm just gonna point out that this ROM here uh, is working absolutely fine the only problem with this ROM is that the video recording is not working but if you are okay with no video recording if you just take selfies and photos then I think you are good to go uh, so that will be a video recording issue will be fixed in the in future updates of the ROM so uh, to go into the recovery mode you need to hold down the power volume up and the home key at the same time like this and as you can see, I am in the recovery mode. Now, first of all, what you need to do is that you need to click here, wipe, okay? Now you need to make, uh, you need to do a factory data reset. So just swipe to do a factory data reset. But before that, uh, it is recommending that you should make a backup so that uh, there will be no problems if, the, if, the, if, the, if your phone could not boot or anything happens, then you can uh, restore it. So make a backup first and then do a wipe data factory reset then click here on the install tab. So the, the ROM that you downloaded make sure you copied it on your internal memory of your phone or external memory but I will recommend you to copy it on the internal memory of your phone. Uh, scroll down to the place where you have the ROM and then select it. I actually had the ROM in my SD card. Uh, so I think like it's not kind of kind of running my SD card. I can't really see the option for EXT SD card, but but yeah, scroll to the place where the ROM is available. Just select it uh, and then click install and swipe to install. And yeah, that it will going to uh, takes it will takes like few minutes and your ROM will be installed. Then just boot up normally and your phone will boot up normally without any problem. So I showed you the ROM. I also did a separate video for the proof that this ROM is indeed working. Uh, but again, if you have any questions, any problems, then do let me know in the comment section down below. So I'm just going to repeat the steps. So first of all, download the ROM and the G apps, copy them into your phone's internal memory, then go into recovery and First, do a backup, then wipe that affected reset, then go into install, scroll to the place where you have the ROM, and uh, make sure you copy it on the root of your Intel memory so that you can just easily find it by scrolling down like this. And then select the ROM and then hit install. First, install the ROM, then install the G app. So you will not going to face any problems after that. So, yeah, it's pretty easy. Uh, but then again, if you're stuck at some point, do let me know in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.